Ah, welcome viewers to another episode of Let's Tank Wow. Well, Gadzooks finally got himself a guild. Great. Ah, man. Well, here we go again. This is Bezlanir, and we are going to tank another dungeon. Uh, I have realized that my face cam is quite dark, and I intend to do something about that, but as I uh, <laughs> scrambled around my room trying to find something, solve that problem, well, my solution was inefficient. Uh, didn't work. What are you gonna do? Oh, man. But I feel the need. I got the... <laughs> Well, here we go again with Maradon, our old <laughs> older man. Older man. Mind? I stand corrected. I stand being having been shown to be a noob idiot. All right, guess I might as well get that platinum see sword. Watch your back. Wow. Yeah. See, so Welcome. twenty dungeon quests completed. Great. So I will tell them how I'm doing things, and uh, we shall go. I think I realized, I was watching my video from before, where I did this dungeon, and I was saying that uh, I thought I had to move my uh, energy drink here because it was blocking my hotbar. I still need to see that from time to time. I'm not, like, so used to this that I don't need it anymore. But I tried to fight um, those three dwarves. The three dwarves? Where's the other seven? I don't know. Anyway, um, it was like, I think that that might only be, you only fight them if you're Horde, uh, so that's what was going on there. Uh, I'm not really sure, but what, who's to say, who's to say? Alright, alright, let's grab these guys too. Alright, uh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I, I think maybe I was... I'm too used to being a horde, so uh, we're gonna. Are we gonna pull that guy? All right, no. Let's just go this way. All right. Uh, apparently, Wow Crandor did it. He's. I think he's pretty good or something. I don't know. Eh. Somebody always did something. I don't know. Whatever. What are you going to do if I was going to try to do only things that people hadn't done before? It's how you do it. It's not the size. It's not the size, god dang it. I got a little pee pee. Oh, man. It's, uh, I don't know. We're not, we're not going to go there, right? We're not going to go there. Oh, man. It's just so tiresome. It's just so tiresome. Whatever. Do what you want to do. And, you know. Like, my... Yeah. Anyway, what can you say? What can you say? Uh, oh. What's a what? And, oh, well, that's... Uh, no. It would be an upgrade, but I just can't... I can't justify taking uh, an item that, um, yeah. Oh, uh, I guess now it occurs to me I, like, could have responded to what they said about WoW Crendor doing it, but, you know, whatever. The thing is, like, I mean, people who play World of Warcraft don't watch that many videos anyway, so, I don't know. It's not really a World of Warcraft video, like, that I really expect World of Warcraft people to watch. I don't really, I don't really know. What do you want? Like, I'm just making a video. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. What do you, what do you want from me? Now you're just taking all my energy away from me. You're trying to steal my thunder, son? You're trying to feel my, steal my blunder? I don't know. Uh, I don't like being compared to people, you know? I don't like being compared, which is why I do try to do things that people haven't done before. But it's been, you know, as you, you know, live your life and things of that None nature, you do realize that, I don't know, you have to change the way that you do things, the way that you think sometimes, 
I'd probably go overboard in my desire not to be compared to other people, but I don't know. That's like, this is the YouTube channel, and, and that's the, the way that things are, you know, we just say, eh, this is the way that I feel, this is the way that I am, and like-minded people can appreciate it, enjoy it, whatever, you know. My channel has been a little weird since my first video, I think. So hopefully these guys are following with me. They pulled another group. That's sweet. I am so in love with that. What they do? Like, I don't even know where that group was at. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway. This is, you know... The, the thing is, I've dealt with this a lot. <laughs> because I... Like, um... Uh, yeah, I went to I went to school, and I think I mentioned this before. I went to school for creative writing, which sounds weird to say that, because it's like you went to school for creative writing. And it sounds like I don't know some high school class. Yeah, I I, ma I majored. Oh god, I just got confused. In creative writing, in high school or high school, you don't major in stuff in high school, son. Use a liar. Use a liar. See your pants hanging from a telephone wire. Sure. Um, I think I'm going the right way. Uh, let's see here. All right, sweet. Um. Oh yeah. So in school for like all that nonsense, I uh. You know, everybody's like, well, everything's been done before. It's a common idea. You know, well, everything's been done before, so why don't you just kill yourself? Obviously, there's no reason for you to be alive. I mean, alive? Every, that's been done before, son. That's been done before. All this alive nonsense. Nobody cares that you're alive. Just kill yourself, man. You want to be original? Find an original way to kill yourself. Where are they finding these? Well, whatever. Those guys aren't elite, so... As long as they don't forget that, you know things. I don't know, man. What is it, What does it mean to be original? It's in the journey, not in the destination. It's... I don't know. I mean, you know the difference? Like, some people just make excuses for their crap, and, like, I know my not the greatest, the most amazing everything at the moment, but, you know, I'm... I'm yeah. I'm doing my thing, and sometimes it's fun, or uh, hey, I made level 40, so now I can get a thing. Um, yay, I unlocked Razor Fun Downs, I unlocked Plate Mail. Oh, boy, that's gonna be a whole fiasco. That is gonna be a whole fiasco. So, when you get to that point, like level 40 or the beginning of any expansion, well now, you know, hunters can wear mail and, and uh, warriors can wear plate well <laughs> if you go to the auction house and look for plate because you're like oh i just made level 40 now i can wear a plate uh, go to the auction house look for plate and it costs one billion dollars <laughs> it's not even it's not even dr evil being an idiot it's it's dr evil after he realized you know got back up to speed and stuff you know all right wait do we need to go this way before i go this way i don't think we do right Nah, we don't need to go that way. We want to go... See, now, it's a little bit trickier because I don't have the um, the blue shinies and stuff, right? But we'll just, we'll just not die here. I think that sounds better than dying again. Alright, let's just, like, charge at these guys. Take on those dudes and get these guys with a thing and then do another thunderclap and I got all the aggro so I can't see anything more dogs barking in my video I knew that was gonna happen my Thoris are feared slay them All right.
right. Oh my god. I forgot to talk again. I'm just so aggravated. Because it's like, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to do things and it's like, you know, I don't know. How am I supposed to do everything in a good way when, you know, I always have to deal with this kind of crap? For some reason, for some reason, I'm always forced to live with a dog that does a lot of barking and crap. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's nice for people who live in fantasy land and you can just have whatever you need whenever you want to have it. But, like, I can't just move because it's inconvenient for me. Like, I can barely afford to pay rent, you know? Like, that's real life, you know? So, that's crap I gotta deal with. What are you gonna do? Right? I'm just gonna assume that these guys will pull this group, so we'll take them on. Ugh, that's so aggravating. It, when I was, um, when I was recording the Heroes of Might and Magic 2 episodes towards the end of the series and all that stuff, you probably heard, like, really terrible audio quality because all my crap was broken. I was, I was forced to use a, a shitty, like, handheld, uh, USB sound recorder to, uh, to record my sounds, and I was living with like this dog that just always barked and I saw so I know I had a ton of videos with dogs barking in the background and it was it's just like I don't know it's pretty it's pretty shysty uh, uh, you see a lot of videos with like I don't know it's like some 15 year old kid and he's like you know he's all snide he's like how come you can't record videos that are like perfect and it's like dude you know what this is fucking real life, man. Like, I work for a living, you know, and I wish I made more. I make what I make, you know. It's like, you know, crap. Ha I was, uh, dude. I was watching, so I was watching, and I'm going to this discussion knowing full well that nobody is listening to this crap at this juncture, okay? <laughs> so it's not a big deal. But I was watching this channel, and I'm not going to call out the channel, but this guy was like... Uh, he's some little 16 year old piece of shit and what he does is he looks at uh, He has a series where he looks at Kickstarter uh, Projects that suck and and like honestly a lot of times he has a point About the Kickstarter projects being ridiculous, but he's just a little piece of shit He's just a little piece of shit and like I watched this bit I watched this like I watched three or four because he's you know it's relatively good content if you can get over him being a piece of shit, but I just couldn't do it anymore after he dropped the N-bomb in a video. It was, and he's a completely white bread piece of shit, motherfucker, and he has no business dropping the N-bomb. Like, I won't drop the N-bomb, alright, and I've, like, you know, I've had friends that I could drop the N-bomb around, you know? that it was it was an understanding but like there's no way that I'm dropping the end bomb on my YouTube channel and like if you're just a little 16 year old piece of shit and you think life is all about being cool and stuff then you know whatever it probably seems like it's all the same to you but you just don't understand like what that means to people you don't understand how that feels and like I know I don't understand I know I don't understand what that feels like. You're just trying to like be a person and, or have a conversation or just live your life and do your things on the day that you're doing stuff and that always comes out, you know, and it's like, you just don't, you don't know. Even if you've like, because I've been in some situations where at least like very temporarily I was the minority, you know, like going into a black barber shop or something like that like oh man i'm the only like basically the only white guy in this room well that's a little awkward but it only lasts for 20 minutes you get your hair cut and you're back to you know your world or whatever uh you know outside of like maybe people who grow up in an area with you know maybe they're white but they're not in the majority but still i mean you just you just can't you can't say stuff like that I don't know. And that, to me, there's just, there's a lot of people like that, you know? They're all about attitude and whatever. They know better. And, I don't know, maybe you do know better, but it, that doesn't excuse being an asshole, right? I don't know. 
I don't even. What, what am I talking about, right? What am I talking about? This fight has just gotten to be so easy. It's so easy now. Yay, the rock pounder. That's. I guess that's useful for when you wanna. <laughs> when you wanna take Dwayne Johnson from. Uh, anyway, I won't go there. I won't go there. The last thing I want is for the rock to show up at my house. Like, I heard that shit you said about me, son. He would break me in half. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> you're talking about ass blasting and you're saying the rock will break you in half. <laughs> uh, what? Anyway, so I'm gonna thank these guys. Uh, alright. Uh, I don't think it should be any problem that I leave. And usually if they're trying to do those quests, it's helpful if like one person stays so they can port in and out, but... <sighs> I'm doing a recording thing, so that's what's happening. What a video. What realms I got into there. I think I had to cut out some stuff, so we're probably around 15 minutes, but... That's probably gonna make an episode for now. Uh, so thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you next time. This is Bezlinir signing out.